Just wait for the right moment, will you? Ready? Now. It'll help with the swelling. And you can eat it afterwards if you like. My old granny used to rub us with a raw onion. That's for curing warts, isn't it? Curing everything. You could always tell if a child was one of hers. It's only a slight sprain. You'll be back on your feet in a flash. Yes, and if you want to stay on them, fasten those flapping boot laces I don't know how many times I've told you. Always rushing around like a mad thing. Except, of course, in my classes. I was late. More haste, less speed. Here, drink some of this stuff. Is it a potion? No, tonic. Onion juice, mostly, with a handful of raw garlic. Forget your little friend. Come on, then, Bonzo. Bonzo? Oh, no, Bonzo! She'll be throwing herself down the stairs every morning at this rate. Just get on with your work, Mildred. The rest of the class was up at sunrise to collect some yarrow digged in the dawn for today's potion. Which is, Enid? Um, Nick? Something or other. Oh, yes, Ethel. The elixir of life, Miss Hardbroom. Correct. We will be using a few drops of the dilute solution on some neglected houseplants. Starting with Ethel and Drusilla, we will attempt to discover how many drops are needed to revitalize a limp leaf. I can see you have given the ingredients a good thorough mixing, Drusilla. Be very careful. Where's Bonzo? Transferring the liquid. I'll give him to you after class. I hope you've been feeding him. Anything spilling on the table. Yes, that should be enough. Now try it. <laughs> Look at that. Just three drops. You can see now why this is such a potent remedy. Now, for Ruby's plant. Miss! Miss O'Cauldron's crap! What? Quickly, everybody out! What's happening? Tables, the chairs, they're coming to life! But how? Trees, Shadu! They were once trees! Well, Mildred Hubble! I accidentally dropped something in the cauldron. What kind of something? A cyber pup. A what? It's a little robot dog. You have to feed him bones when he barks by pressing his buttons. Otherwise he dies. Stops working. Mildred! I was trying to fix him. Yes, well, between the two of you, you have managed to wreck the potion laboratory. Where is it? I don't know, miss. I think it exploded. Bonzo! Come along, Ruby. Under the circumstances, it's just as well that Bonzo is no more. Mr. Blossom is chopping the trees up for firewood, and offending girls have been given the job of stacking them. 
potion laboratory, however, is still in a very bad way. And much as I would like to, I cannot entirely blame Mildred Hubble. Those mini cauldrons have long since needed replacing. It was an accident waiting to happen. Sometimes I wonder why we don't just magic it all better. Really, Miss Butt? You know what the consequences would be as well as I do. The Foster's effect would ensure that the... I've decided to invite our new chair of school governors to come and inspect the damage and hopefully... Write a check? That would be magic. When is he coming? He'll be here first thing tomorrow. I'm sorry, Ruby. Forget it. I did feed it last night, but then I overslept. And I fell down the stairs, and I couldn't exactly get it out in the staff room, could I? It's OK. It was a cute little thing. I thought the potion might bring it back to life. It's like living in a different century. Nothing works properly in this place. So I see, Ruby Cherry Tree. Perhaps you and Mildred should consider setting an example. Yes, Miss Harper. I don't want to see or hear any more of your ridiculous contraptions. No, Miss. And for goodness sake, smarten yourself up, Mildred. Is it too much to hope that you'll make an effort for Mr. Hallow's visit in the morning? No, miss. I Only... know what you mean, Mildred. What I mean is no more accidents. Yes, miss. I don't believe it. What's so? What's happened to you? It's changed. It must be the effect of the potion. Those legs and spikes and teeth. It's turned into a sort of robo crocodile. It's all turned out OK, Millie. I've got my Bonzo back, and he's better than ever. Nick, knack, paddy, whack, give the dog a bone. <laughs> is he your dad, then, the new chair of governors? He is. He's going to buy us a new potion lab. So? I thought... Don't ask me. He just turned up. He's got a spiky. <laughs> Have you seen Mildred? Yes, yes, I hear you, Miss Hartwell. But that's the trouble with the cauldron method. Metal stress plus systems overload equals major meltdown. They were quite old cauldrons. Stone Age? No, wrong. Iron Age. <laughs> it's time for a complete hardware upgrade, if you ask me, Miss Hardbrum. Hey, what do you call a cauldron with a removable lid? A dustbin. <laughs> Speaking of dustbins, there goes a girl who looks like she just crawled out of one. Mildred! You said to do some preparation for the potion class, Miss Harbrim. So I went out early on my broomstick. I've got some lavage picked in the dark and some bulrushes from the bend in the brook, but I had a bit of trouble getting the dried saddle from the old oak tree. It's kind of smelly fungus. Of course, we get most of our ingredients from Hags and Horrocks educational supplies. But I do emphasize the traditional methods. So I see. Take your place, Mildred. Good morning, girls. Good morning, Miss Hardbroom. This is our new chair of governors, Mr. Hallow. Good morning, Mr. Hallow. Good morning, girls. Good morning, Ethel. No need to stand on ceremony. Now. I'd just like to say... Excuse me a moment. Hello. Yes, hello speaking. Hello. Yes? Yes. Oh, bit of a flap back at base. Uh, no. No, 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 no. I'll do it now. I'll deal with it right now myself. We have no electricity in Cappell's Academy, you know, Mr. Hallow. Battery powered. Right, girls. We have some work to do. Enough gawping. Everything all right, Miss Bat? Absolutely splendid. Take a look at that. 
absolutely extraordinary. What do you make of it? She must want that new potion lad very badly. Yes. Otherwise, she'd have turned him into a fat, warty toad by now. And that would be a shame, wouldn't it? Quite state-of-the-art himself, isn't he? <laughs> <clears throat> I believe your class is waiting for you, ladies. We have plenty of time to view Mr. Hallow over lunch. Yes, yes Miss Cackle. you'd like to see the girl's potion demonstration now, Mr. Hallow. Yes, might as well. Nothing but interference problems today. All right, girls. Just a little sip each. Yes? I think you may be surprised by this, Mr. Hallow. Right. One. Two. Three. <laughs> That hall ceiling really did need replastering. Oh, I must apologize again, Mr. Hallow. It was a most regrettable incident. Don't worry about it, Miss Hardbroom. And perhaps we hadn't allowed for the freshness of Mildred's ingredients. Cauldron stewed eel, Mr. Hallow. It was your mother's favorite, it was your grandmother's No, favorite. thank you, Miss Bat. I'm afraid I break with the Hallow's tradition in more ways than one. I think it's time to stop messing around with cauldrons altogether. It's time to build the potion lab of the future. Every girl can have her own online computer. They'll be able to travel the net, talk to witches all over the world. No more picking pansies for potions at dawn. All Hallows information technology. The software for sorcery. What do you say? So, it's like that good fun to me? Uh, it does sound very modern. Yes, well, we'll have to think about it. Take running jump tape. No, I wanted to win it. Every time you show me something, you end up playing it yourself for ages. Miss Bat Monsters! Oh, Zap them! Um, they're behind you! Oh, you've lost a life now. You'll have to drink the potion. Yeah, it's on the screen. It's a virtual potion. Oh, too late. Never mind, girls. You can have another go. And remember, tomorrow we're going to link up to the internet and go exploring on the World Wide Web. Like the sound of that? It means we're going online. I can't wait. I'll tell you what, I'll run the programme so you can see what it's going to look like. Tomorrow we're going to be talking to Australia, to the world. Everybody ready? Here we go. Oh, yes. I have to say, I'm still very unhappy about the whole business. Well, you persuaded him to replace the cauldrons, and the potion lab is being refitted. I think it was a fine compromise. We've still got to put up with these infernal machines. Only as long as Mr. Hallow is here. After that, if you don't want to use them, you don't have to. And until that day, Miss Cackle, I'm not putting one foot inside that classroom. Yeah. Now, this is something rather clever, this. See? Want to have a go? I'm not really sure about all this, Maud. It just makes life easier. You won't have to go out early picking herbs for potions. But I like picking herbs. Watch this, girls. I'll show you something to get your imaginations going. I'll just click on this hyperlink and... Look! 
so really cyber puppy. There it is. Over by those wires. There's nothing there. But I saw it. I saw it move. Mildred, are you all right? Yes, I... I told you, Daddy. She's useless. Now, nobody touch anything until I've checked for safety. Looks like he's really had it this time. Cuddling carnivores. Maud, are you up? Maud? Why didn't you wake me? I've been having terrible nightmares. Maud, it's late. Late. Portion lab. Yes, there's the breakfast bar going. Food. We must feed it. It's hungry. I think you're having the same nightmare as me. Maud, wake up. I am awake. Stand there, Mildred. Get out of my way. Come on, Lily. Look at this. It's an old charm book. Ancient spells and stories of enchantment. Look at this picture here from the Snow Queen. It's where the boy gets the splinter of ice in his heart and then he's her slave and under her power. Uh... Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Go on. That's it. He goes all cold and empty. Like a zombie. Yes. He has to do exactly what the Snow Queen says. Like Maud and the rest. What? They're all hooked up to the computer. Have you seen how they look at you if you get in their way? Yeah, now you mention it, they do look a bit odd. Are there spells in here as well as stories? There's a list of enchantments in the front. What about disenchantments? At the back. Don't expect them to work, though. Most of that stuff's made up by writers. Now, Constance, you did say that you'd join in on the big day. I said I'd enter the room. Don't you think in the spirit of open-minded inquiry that you might... What about the spirit of Cackle's Academy? Standards, discipline, tradition. Preserving the best of the old and welcoming the best of the new. You wouldn't want the girls to think you were nervous, would you? I must admit, I've never seen them concentrate this hard before. I think it's done is crawled into the computer. Bad news. And now it's enslaved them. Even cackle and hard for them. Let's do the disenchantment before it gets us as well. Immolatus, excavatus, mentet, manum, quorum, cavus. Disinfectus, disenchantus. Oh, nothing's happened. It's not working. No, look, Ruby. It worked. Why hasn't it worked on the others? What? The spell. Not strong enough on its own, maybe. 
Why didn't you just switch it off? I never thought of that. Ah! Ah! Oh. Mr. Hallow! Excuse me, Miss Bat. Mr. Hallow? Mr. Hallow? Don't disturb me now. Bonzo needs me. We're waiting to get online in one minute. You know what that means, don't you? Bonzo's going to take over the world. Miss Harper! Miss, Miss, you've got to help us. It's going to take over the world. Stop fussing, Mildred. Miss Harbroom? That's no use. Welcome to Bonzo World. No, on the screen. Look, she's fighting it. Like a computer game. Ten seconds to online. Don't stomp on her. Bonzo! Five seconds. No, she's cutting his spare set. Three. Too late. One. Online. Well done, girls. Quiet, please, everyone. With your permission, headmistress. Um, yes, go ahead, Miss Hardbroom. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Hallow, it has been a most interesting experiment, but we are halfway through this morning's potion class and we must get some work done. <laughs> <laughs> Just a safety precaution. You understand? Come on, girls, there's lots of lovage over here. I'm sorry I was so horrid to you, Mildred. I wasn't myself when I was feeding Bonzo. It's all right. Bonzo's gone. Finished. Zapped kaput. Miss Cackle says you and Millie and those two second years saved the world. And Miss Hardbroom. Yes, Ruby. But I wouldn't have been able to do anything if Mildred and her second year friends hadn't set me free. Never underestimate those old enchantments. No, Miss Hardbroom. Despite all evidence to the contrary, I think Mildred Hubble might make quite a good witch one day. Oh, I don't know, Miss Cackle. I wouldn't go that far. 